What is going on, fellas, and welcome back to the... <clears throat> What is going on fellas and welcome back to the Armadillo's Reload Draft Build. This is the finale. Remember, this is the Madden 20 waiting room right now. We could turn the Armadillo's into a full-time series. Like every episode is one game like we normally do. Maybe storylines if anybody wants to drop some down below. Anyway, looking into the team, we have Kosh Barkley, our 86 overall, 6 foot 5, wide receiver rookie. He wasn't 86 when he was drafted. The only thing that's trash about him is that deep route. <sighs> but in the red zone, he's going to be a monster. Offensive line leaves a lot to be desired, but we will get to that in a second. The secondary is amazing. Like the best secondary we've probably ever had. The D-line isn't great either, but it can get shit done. And a lot of people have been asking me as well. Crow, how do you have such a big forehead? Genetics. But people have also been asking me, how is it that you get so many stat boosts throughout the season? It's very simple. Once you earn one of these gold coins, they are there for the entire franchise. Until this guy retires, that gold will be there. You do them once, they'll be there forever. Make sure you do go for gold though. You get an extra 100 XP. Doesn't seem like a lot, but over the course of three, four years, that's a lot of XP, you know? Now before we start the season, what kind of upgrades can we make? Bradley Miller has two of them. Gonna be a man-to-man -man god. Sounds really, really awkward when I word it like that. But he's a 92 overall. Teddy Kadu will go up to a 97. Now I'm gonna see you guys at the midway point, week eight. I'm gonna simulate week per week and do these training results every single week. So we give our team the best chance of going to the Super Bowl. See you then. Two and five. I don't know how this team is 2-5, and five, man. We're 87 overall. It's acting like we're the worst team in the game. Well, on the plus side, hopefully we can get some upgrades. Bradley Miller still turning into the best cornerback in the NFL. This man might very well be up to a 97 by the end of the year. And in case we do turn it into a full-time series, I need to go ahead and re-sign people. Oh, and there's a lot of them. I will catch you guys in week 16 and hopefully have some better results for you. So we are currently seven and eight in week 17. I don't think that's gonna be good enough even for a wild card spot. We did manage to pick up wins in our last two games. Don't know how Philly's still three and 12, but that's Madden. I mean, let's go ahead and check out this schedule. So we started out with a win and everything looked promising, but then it was just loss, 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 loss. I mean, it's just such a back and forth season. Again, putting us in the most awkward position to either rebuild or go to a Super Bowl. So here's what I'm gonna do. We're gonna play this game against the Chiefs. I assume we're gonna win. I'm gonna try my best to win. If that win gets us into the wild card, which I doubt, but it is a possibility. Actually, now it kind of doesn't look like one. If we make the playoffs, we make the playoffs and I'll play it, you know? But if we don't, then that just sucks. Teddy Kadoo's up to a 99, my guy. Bradley Miller gets two upgrade points, putting him to a 96 overall. Remember, we're not in the wild cards yet. He could win Defensive Player of the Year or something. We'll be sure to check out the stats after this Chiefs game. Chandler's up to a 98, and that's awesome. Quandre Myers also up to a 90. Should we play the moments? Let's do it. Let's do it. I haven't tried play the moments before. Playing in the snow as well. How does this work? Do I just put it on fast and it tells me or what, mate? All right, third and 10. Let's go ahead and jump on pool here in the middle. Going up against Patty Mahomes, of course. Already Madden, really, bro? I wasn't on that for a pick? Bruh. All right. <laughs> Obviously, I'm absolutely trash at this game. There we go. Barkley, man. We could have got 100 yards off that play. There we go. Good stop. Oh. Go, let's take off. Look how slow he is, man. Go Shepard with the big first down. We got a minute left. I might even just throw this up to Myers, eh? Ah, of course. There we go. And okay. 
I'll take three points, mate. At least tie the game up going into the second. Ooh, they've asked me to come in and kick a 55-yarder. Yes, I am playing on all pro because all Madden sucks. There we go. Moose. Oh, it hit the post. Let's go, baby. I'm loving the sliders that I'm on right now. Normally, I just rock with, like, default. But these ones have been coming in clutch, mate. It feels like a real game. All right, throw it out. Throw it out. This definitely wasn't the right game to wear white jerseys. My eyes are already crap as it is, and I'm trying to see these little white people run around on the snow. I was about to throw it again. There we go. Thread the needle. On the plus side, at least we take a nine-point lead, so give ourselves a little bit of a cushion, mate. Nope. Oh, he's going to get sacked on the blitz. Holloman. These blitzes are kind of glitchy because so many of our cornerbacks are good at man coverage. So we don't really have to worry about people getting open. We can kind of chill on that. That's a terrible throw by Patty. Oh, there we go. Somebody got it. Jabril Peppers coming up with the big pick. We might be going to the playoffs. This is it. Third and two. Either way, we take the lead. Granted, I don't miss another bloody field goal. Not even going to matter, Barkley. Oh, why did he spin that way? I've been playing too much NCAA. That's all that is. Not a big deal, my guy. We're going to walk out of here with the dub. All right, lo and behold, we go to the wild cards. Eight and eight record. Looking doubtful in the NFC of all divisions. And we're not going to make it. Yearly awards though. Zeke's going to pick that up. Baker Mayfield in second for the MVP. We had nobody again. Offensive player obviously going to be Zeke. Nobody there. Devin White going to win defensive player of the year. Wait, that cornerback Bradley Miller leveled up like crazy. But in saying that, there was no accomplishment, nothing. We'll have to check out the stats and see what happened. Quandre Myers second on Offensive Rookie of the Year, though. Chandler had a pretty up season compared to the other ones. 3,700 yards, 21 touchdowns, 8 picks. Need those touchdowns to go up and those picks to go down. Rushing in a thing, Saquon carrying the team again. 1,300 yards, 11 touchdowns. Paul Hammond. 234 and 6 touchdowns. Longest run was 9 on the whole season. That's hilarious. Receiving end, how did Quandre do? He had 754 yards and 6 touchdowns. Led the team. Touchdowns, good on him. I feel like he'd be better off as a tight end, but we already have Evan Ingram anyway. And on the defensive end, Bradley Miller led the team in tackles with 104. He only had one pick, three TFLs. Shaq Thompson putting in some work, so I'm glad we got him. Uh, Jabril Peppers with two picks, got one in that game just then. Really unfortunate, man. I wanted to make this episode like big and special and play the wildcard division, conference, Super Bowl, all that jazz. It's not going to happen, man. So if you guys want to make this a full-time series, we could do that. If you want storylines, maybe. Don't hold it against me if I don't do it, though, because a lot goes into it. With that being said, if you made it this far into the video, you are the real MVP. Hope the rest of your day is awesome. And from me personally, I'm out. Peace.